Coming to you live from the Mac Studio, it's Whitney High School Live, and I'm your host, Ben Espejo. Well, hey guys, welcome to Tuesday's edition of Whitney High School Live. Let's kick our show off with a brand new segment, so let's throw it over now to Justin and Yanacy. Hey Whitney High School, I'm Justin. And I'm Yanacy, and this is Music Tuesday, where we expose you to music that you may not have heard as much of, or new music that you will love. And as you know, formal is coming up, and there's a lot of events such as the car ride going to formal, from formal, the dance, the date before, and for all these events, you're going to need some good music to play for your date. Otherwise, you might embarrass yourself. You're also going to want to have heard some of the songs that will play at the dance, so you're not caught off guard and you know how to dance to it. And we know from personal experience that finding good music is really hard to find sometimes. Uh, so we are here to give you guys a helping hand. Since half the fun of um, formal is getting ready for the dance, we have the perfect song for you guys to get ready to. It is by none other than Drizzy Drake. Off his debut album, Thank Me Later, featuring The Dream, it is the most fitting song to get ready to. Besides being fitting, it gives you a chance to really appreciate Drake's falsetto with the transition between singing and rapping. Here's a sample. This little song for you to get ready to Put those heels on and work it, girl let that mirror show you what you're doing. Put that As you can tell, this song is about Drake talking about his girlfriend and how, while she's getting ready, how beautiful she is, how pretty she is, or, you know, how, she, how he feels about her. Our next song is for the date before the actual dance. It is called Home to Mama by Justin Bieber and Cody Simpson. Here's a sample. I don't work hard when it's easy. Putting work when it's hard And girl, I never believed in Love until I had yours This is more than a season And I'm not just wrong This is a perfect song that shows how someone, an artist, who many people dislike or doubt can actually make a song you can't help but fall for And to be honest, this is one of my uh, personal favorite type of music It's very slow, mellow, and it's very kind of, you know, simpy and if you don't know what simp is, it's uh, someone who is very uh, emotional or dramatic. You know? Like yourself. Uh, <clears throat> anyways, uh, our next song of the day is called Ahead of Us by Tom Swoon. Uh, here's a sample. I don't know about you guys, but that song got me really pumped up. It has a really nice buildup to it that, you know, when it drops, it makes me feel really good inside. Uh, but if I could dance, I would show you guys right here on this, you know, couch, but I can't. But, you know, wishful thinking, so. Um, anyways, our next song is called uh, Miracles by Coldplay. Here's a sample. Now I'm floating so high A blossom and die this is a great song to end your miraculous night with. Uh, that's it for our Music Tunes Day. Back to you, Ben. Thank you, Justin. Thank you, Yanisi. And now let's throw it over to our Commissioner of Athletics, Annika Brandes, for another sports segment. Good morning. Every Tuesday this month, we will be debuting a new video segment called Inside the Lions, highlighting our winter sports teams. Today's video features our boys basketball team and focuses on playing the post. Let's take a look. Uh, when we work in the low post, uh, we just go over basic stuff. Um, usually the ins inspiration comes from other players. Uh, when another player outworks one of their teammates in the post, then it kind of raises the level. So it kind of comes from, from their teammates. We deal with this every single season, especially when we go to the playoffs. Uh, Harvard Westlake was probably a real good example of that. Uh, you know, the, the way usually I explain to the boys, it's, it's pretty simple. If you stay between them and the basket, it's hard for them to score. You know, they keep, if you keep them in front of you, it's hard for them to score. And, uh, you know, Harvard Westlake was a good example. We were in it until the fourth quarter, and it just, you know, gets to a certain point where you're just, uh, you know, it's. Four minutes left, you're down by 12, and you know, it just, we can't crack that 12 point lead, and it's just one of those things. But, you know, uh, we're usually faced with big, uh, faced up against bigger teams, especially in the playoffs, and uh, our boys do a good job of actually 
matching the physicality that you know that they've grown accustomed to over the years. Under normal, normal circumstances, it is uh, usually up to the big, uh, big guy. But there's been times that we've had guards actually go to take their man to the low post or actually work the high post, and it actually becomes confusing for defenses when uh, their big doesn't know who to guard, especially if they're in a the zone. So, uh, and, and if our big steps out around the perimeter, um, it, it sometimes at times it confuses uh, defenses, and our guards do a good job of working low post or the high post. Uh, it usually comes down to footwork. You know, uh, every every player should be able to work uh, low post, high post, whatever the case is. You know, it just comes down to the good for work. One, two, one. Thank you, Annika, and thank you, Boys Basketball. Just a quick reminder, voting for our intro graphic contest is still open. So if you want to take a look at our intro graphics, they're on our Facebook page. And make sure to vote by sending us an email with your vote to our Whitney High School Live email. That's all for today. This has been Whitney High School Live. I'm Ben Espejo. Have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow.